Hi, take a seat, warm yourself. Just uh, working on something. It's how I pass the time. It also helps me make sense of this strange place. Name's Conniff. Been here, oh, I don't know. A few weeks now? Months? Who knows? <laughs> don't be frightened. There's a lot of sounds reverberating in the trees. The rocks. These strange stone orbs even right behind us. Yep, that's Eternum, as they're calling it. I guess I better get used to it, though, seeing as it's my home now. Yours, too. I never thought that boarding that frigate was going to be a one-way trip. But this is life now. Didn't have much before. That's why I got on that boat to begin with, I suppose. You see, I was a starving artist. <laughs> oh, sure. I drum up a decently large crowd at taverns from Philly to Boston, but just never felt like home. The music echoing in those raucous ale halls. I think it was, I didn't really have anything to write about. From the heart, you know. No lovers, no tribulations, just the son of a logger who spent many a starry night all up and down the Chesapeake. And, well, lo and behold, here we are, spending a starry night somewhere on a mysterious island in the Atlantic. Let me pour you a drink. I think we can celebrate the little things, at least. To Eternum, and all its great mysteries. So, I, uh, I got on that boat. It was destined for London. I figured that maybe going back to the land of my ancestors would awaken something. Give inspiration, I don't know. It was an adventure, and I'd always heard about London from my great-grandpops, a bustling city full of businessmen and little shops, even towering buildings, stagecoaches, and the Queen. It just sounded exciting. Sure, we've got some of that in the colonies, but the grass is always greener across the pond, as they say. Actually, I just came up with that. So, I packed my guitar here and the rest of my belongings, and boarded the great Boston Liberty on its maiden voyage across the sea. Maybe three, four nights in, I don't know, me and some of the ship hands were playing a hand of cards. It was dark on the open water, sure, but we managed with the lanterns all along the deck, but this night, it was different. The sea had gone black almost, it was unnerving. A few of the guys went to rouse the captain and Shortly after, something rocked the side of the Liberty and all hell broke loose. Red wisps, jagged rocks, the sea itself was alive. In the distance, a wall of blood-red clouds, so thick as if to form a barrier around something, or keep us out, I, I don't know. The last thing I remember standing on that deck was Captain O'Connell barking orders, and then suddenly he was gone whisked away by dark tendrils of smoke into the black abyss. The rest is fuzzy, but I recall waking on a beach, sand in my mouth, and I hate sand. It gets everywhere, my head splitting. I came across one of my card buddies, but he wasn't acting himself, and he had this weird blue glow to him. Oh, and he tried to kill me. But, praise the Lord, this here very guitar washed up next to me, and I kid you not, I beat the sorry bastard to death with it. <laughs> and I don't know if this is just coincidence, or maybe I was hopped up on sandy waterlogged adrenaline, but when that guitar struck him, it rang out the heaven chord with that major nine. Mm. Sorry, music stuff. So anyway... Came to on a wild island, beat a man to death with my guitar, and then walked probably a quarter mile just to be done in by old Captain O'Connell. And obviously you're wondering what I'm doing here, sitting and recanting this tale, if I was done in, and, well, I don't damn well know. <laughs> Things on this island just don't die. If you're lucky enough to die the traditional way, that is, and not turn into one of them glowing blue corrupted things. 
I've died a total of two times since arriving here, and well, frankly, that's two times more than I ever expected to in life. Oh, anyway, sorry, got on a tangent. I've been wandering this land ever since, making coin by playing the taverns in Windsward, Everfall, First Light. Joined up with this company, though. They call themselves the Lore Seekers. Their whole thing is, uh, may as well unravel the secrets of this place if we're stuck here. So, I figured that's my best bet for adventure, inspiration for song, and the like. I don't know how well they pay, though. A singing man's gotta eat. Nah, anyway, daybreak is upon us, and you look like you've got quite the journey ahead of you. Thanks for listening to my story. There's a lot of us here, stuck. This is our home. Figure the more we know about each other, the more we'll start to recognize the human in each of us. Maybe stop all this damn fighting. <laughs> Who am I kidding? We can't die. 